everyone, it's Natalie, and today I'm moving into my first college apartment. I'm so excited. It's been a while since I vlogged, but I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along as I'm moving in. I love watching these types of videos, so I thought it'd be fun to make one of them. So let's do a little apartment tour. Okay, so here is my little room tour. Um, it's not unpacked yet. I will do a little bit of a video of how I'm gonna set things up, but I'll just kind of walk you through the space. Walk through the door, I move my bed here. I have two dressers there. Put end table there, and then um, I have full built-ins there I'm gonna decorate, and then I have my desk and my little cart. And then over here I have my own bathroom, so I'm going to decorate this fully in a little bit. And then I have a walk-in closet, which is really nice, and it's currently a mess, but I'm gonna organize that. I don't even think I can fill it all. <laughs> my plan for this, I have like a pink and green theme for the bathroom. And then in here, I'm gonna hang a picture frame. I'm gonna do a full like little gallery wall. All right, so we pretty much set up the kitchen, so let me show you. Um, and then the living room still has a little more decor to go, so I'll wait to show that. All right, so here's the kitchen. Um, we have our bar stools. We have a little fruit bowl that we put out. And then this is the space. So I got this rug from Target and I put that there. And then a couple of the dish towels are from Target too. So basically, um, we just kind of put things away. It's minimal decor. We might decorate it more later. I'm going to work on my room. So I had my dad build that nightstand. And then that's kind of all the progress that I've done. So I'm going to take pretty much everything out and then make my bed and start slowly adding things. And I'm very excited. So I'll show you the after in a little bit. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's the next day and I'm still setting up my apartment. So I got a lot done yesterday. It doesn't look like it, but I did. So um, right now I'm just working on organizing my desk and I'll show you what that looks like. Here is what my room looks like right now. Um, I put down a little rug and I have my side table and my little, what I'm calling lamp man. I got it from Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's so cute and you can change how the lamp sits. Um, so that's just basic decorating. I'm gonna probably style it more. Um, I have my bed set up. I have a painting I hung up. Desk areas, very much of a mess right now. So I put all my school supplies on the floor to go through them. And I have this white cart that I've had for a really long time. But unfortunately on these floors, the wheels, it's just every time I open the cart, the wheels, it will like pull with it. So I'm taking them off right now. And then I have um, some gripper stuff to put on the floor just in case it scratches. Um, and then I'm gonna organize this and I'm living my best life watching Million Dollar Listing New York Which is one of my favorite shows to watch um, when I clean and organize and stuff like that. Hello So here's a little update. Um, it's a couple hours have gone by and it still looks like I didn't do much, but I promise I did so here is my bookshelf right now and then my desk setup is pretty much done. I need to clean off the top and put some more stuff in my cart and then this bin is gonna go away into my closet. And so now I have to tackle my closet. And I have a game plan but it's a lot of stuff. Here is the end of how it looks. So when you walk in I have my jeans and dresses right here and then I have my tops. And then over here, I have my business casual and then my jackets and my robe. Then I put my sweatshirts and sweatpants here. I hung up my hats I have. I have a bag of bags there, which suspiciously looks like it's going to fall on my head at some point. But I'll, I'll make, I think it's pretty secure. I'm like 90% positive. <laughs> and then over here I have bins of different things, decor, um, command hooks, stuff like that. Um, up here I have an empty bin that I've not yet allocated a purpose to. 
I have extra bedding, um, pillowcases, stuff like that in this one. Bathing suits, I have my towels right there. And then, let's see, on the door, this is for my bathroom, I have my towels. Behind, I have my, um, a reusable bag, or like a tote bag, and then my Lululemon purse. And then on the bottom, right here, I have a bag of all my reusable bags that I'll use for grocery shopping. Um, the last thing is I'm in laundry basket and then my shoe rack. I moved it over there, but I think I'd like it just out of the way. So that is my closet. It took me so long and now I get to work on my gallery wall and I'll show you what pieces I have for that. So I'm planning on putting those on this blank wall. I just have my folklore vinyl hung up. So I have all this huge space to put something. And I kind of want to center it on the wall so it kind of carries over a little bit. I think I figured out the setup of the gallery wall. So this isn't a great representation of it because the lighting is off, you know, I individually took pictures. This is what I'm thinking now. I kind of want it to go at a diagonal angle, like from the corner of my desk up to towards the ceiling, not all the way because the ceilings are pretty tall. Alright, I just finished the gallery wall. You can see a sneak peek here. Um, I really love it. Um, the spacing isn't 100% perfect, but that's okay. It was hard because I was just doing it by myself, so I really couldn't lean back and see it. Um, I really like it. I'll do a little tour of how it looks closer up in a little bit. Um, my last thing, I went to Michael's to get picture frame wire. And then I am framing this print. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and um, I did a lot. <laughs> I just did not film it. So I finished the gallery wall and I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I made pizza and I set off the smoke alarm, which was really fun. It didn't even smoke. I opened the oven and then all of a sudden it was beeping and it really scared me that it wasn't gonna turn off, but luckily it did after a few seconds. Um, but already set off the first already set off the fire alarm it was my first time cooking in the kitchen um and my roommate and I did the gallery wall above our sofa in our living room and I'll do a full tour I think tomorrow and tomorrow I have one last project I'm gonna do that I'll vlog and then it'll be kind of the major decorating will be basically done so here is my gallery wall in its full form so it kind of goes up the wall and so first off we have my spongebob print we have a picture of my dog one of my dogs in sunglasses we have a rainbow from the beach i took i went to michael's and i diy'd this little um rig here so it's a mystery machine monster truck that i had from my childhood and i put two thumbtacks in the bottom of it and so it's it's a little sketchy um I would have to go back home to get nails to properly do this, but for now, that's I have that hanging there. Um, I have my Evolution of Man poster, um, my prints, my, my sister did these two, and then um, another print, a photo of my sister, my cousin, and I, another print I did, and then a VW from a car. I got it at a uh, junkyard. And then um, Miss Taylor, Queen Taylor's over there. <laughs> okay, so here is my desk. I have a lamp, a picture of me and my cousin, a little gold turtle, a picture of my sister and I, and then I have um, some other like plants and then two things I got at Vintage Shop. Um, over here, I don't know if I fully showed it yet. So up on the top, we have this Yellowstone print. I got the frames from Michaels today. A duck planter, a gold, it's a sailboat, gold sailboat, and then a ceramic hand. And then on this shelf, we have my one of my film cameras, another base, all my books, Grover, um, my N initial, picture of my sister and I, my other film camera, base, one of my plants, and then this is my jewelry little counter so I have these butterfly trays that I believe are from a vintage shop 
my sister gave them to me, so thank you, Liv. Um, picture of my sister and I. Um, Polaroid of me, this cute little house. Shout out to my sister again. I wanted these from Target so bad. They were in the dollar spot and I could not find them. She finally found some for me and she bought them. So it's very much greatly appreciated. <laughs> um, so I have a little house, my sunglasses, and then a little glass snail I got um, for a dollar at a yard sale. Then down here are all my school books. I have notebooks, sketchbook, um, paper. Down here is my backpack, um, some packaging I have to deal with, and then my uh, mattress topper for my bed came today. So I should probably put that on my bed before I go to bed. Um, it might not happen today though. I'm really not feeling like taking everything off my bed. Um, and then nothing changed over here much. Um, I have the clear glass house that my sister bought, a ceramic vessel, a picture of my older dog, a picture of my younger dog, um, childhood photo, book, airpods, and then up here I have another photo of me, my cousin, my lamp man. <laughs> I just love how cozy my room is at night with like the lamps on. All right, everyone. So it is the next day. It is day three of being here. And I have my last project to do. It is a Lego fish tank. I saw it on Instagram and they, um, there were a couple pictures I saw. I don't know, it was some random account I saw it on. But um, they built the Lego fish, the Lego pets. It's like brick heads, I think is the Lego line and it's two gold fish and then they put it in an actual fish tank and I saw that and immediately knew that I needed it. So I went to the Lego store in the nearest mall to me and I bought the kit, it was $15. Then I went to the pet store, I think it was like $12 for the little classic fish bowl that is way too small for an actual fish. And then I gathered up some Legos that I already had to build the rest of it, you know, make it look like a fishbowl. So I'm about to do that. I'm gonna film a TikTok of it and my TikTok is Natalie Bell Creative. I'll link it down below if you wanna see that video and I'll show you guys the finished result and then I'll do a final tour because it's the last piece of decor I'm waiting on. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here is my fishbowl. I absolutely love it. Um, it took me a little bit of time but I basically used the kit I had and then I filled in with blocks that I had from my childhood to kind of create a little pebble look. So along with the fishbowl, we have a little tray. We have this accordion key hanger that I got from a vintage shop. And then we have this print I got from Etsy. So here is a little gallery wall my roommate and I set up. Um, those top two prints she had, the sailboat is my great grandmother's painting, um, this new romantics print I got off of Etsy, London print I got from a vintage shop and it's from the Tate Museum, which is a museum in London, and then I have Harry's House print I got from Etsy, I have a Blue Crabs postcard I got from a store in Maryland, a vintage mirror from Italy, um, I got it at a vintage shop but it's made in Italy, and then a rooster thing, it's made out of magazine like someone uh, used an exacto knife to cut it and then these two pillows are from world market and then the little tray here i don't know if i showed it but i have coasters from home goods and then i have a book that is the little guide to dolly parton and that i do not know where i got it but i know my mom got it for me for a gift and then i have a um vanilla pumpkin candle from trader joe's that's just open and then the remote so that is a look at the space. I realized editing this that I never showed my bathroom completed so I'm gonna insert a little picture here of the bathroom. The main thing to note is the shower curtain. That shower curtain's from Urban Outfitters and I have wanted that shower curtain probably since I would say at the latest sixth grade for years, years. It's probably been around seven or so years that I've wanted that shower curtain, but I share a bathroom with my sister and she never wanted it in her bathroom. So I have my own bathroom. So after seven years, I Urban Outfitters still carries that shower curtain. So 
special shout out to that shower curtain and I apologize for not showing the bathroom but that's really the biggest piece of you know decor in there <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun taking you guys along with me. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll be vlogging again soon. <laughs> Bye!